Hey, what's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to use Python to analyze stock data. To do this, we're going to be using Google Colab, which allows anyone to execute Python code through their browser. You don't have to download anything and it's completely free, so it's a very useful tool. This is going to be a beginner lesson, so don't be intimidated if the code looks hard or confusing. I've currently got the stock data we're going to be using in Google Sheets, and I'm going to show you how to transfer it over to Google Colab so that we can analyze the data using Python. I pasted the link to this data in the description so that you can download it and follow along. So without being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so we've already got our data that we're going to be want to be working with. So I'm going to come up here to the top left corner and I'm going to want to name this file for the sake of this project. I'm going to name it stock data python with no spaces. And what you name it's going to be important and I'll show you why later. So now I'm going to come up here to file and I'm going to want to save this spreadsheet as a CSV file because that's going to be important when we download this into Google Colab so that we can manipulate the data. Okay, so the very next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to head over to Google and log into our Google Drive account. And I'm going to open this up here and you can see here I've got some folders. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click and make a new folder. And I'm just going to name this folder Python. And I'm going to hit create. And then I am going to take this spreadsheet we just downloaded as a CSV file. And I'm going to put this in my Python folder that I just created. So now that we have our data in our Google Drive, we're going to want to head over to Google Colab. So if you just Google it, click on that first link that comes up. We're going to want to come down here and click create a new notebook and you're going to see a blank sheet come up and this is where we're going to start to download our data so that we can do a stock analysis on it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come up here to the top left and I'm going to title this stock data. So now I need to import the data. So we're going to begin writing our first code and so we need to import this from our Google Drive. So I'm going to type out from google.colab import drive and we need to mount this drive so that we can analyze the data. So I'm going to type out drive.mount and I'm going to run this code now and you're going to have a little message come up once it loads and all you're going to need to do is you need to authorize that it's actually you trying to sign in. Click that link and then copy the code that it gives you. You might have to sign into your Google account and copy and paste the authorization code right here and hit enter. And now that our content drive is mounted, we can start importing our data. So now I'm going to start typing out my next line of code and I'm going to want to import pandas as PD. What Python Pandas is, is it's a data analysis library. It lets us manipulate data and find better ways to analyze it. And so now I'm going to need to create the path to import our data. So I'm going to type out the code for that right now. Be sure to pause and rewind as well if you think I'm going too fast. And I'm going to go back and see what did I name this file. It's under Python. So I'm going to type out Python. And now I'm going to go back. Let's look at what I named the data. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to rename this file. I'm going to name it something simpler. And let's just name it stock data python.csv. So now that I've got that saved, I'm going to go back to typing out my code. And here I'm going to type out the name that I just titled my data. And then we're going to want to type this df which stands for data frame is equal to pd.read we want it to read that csv file that we just saved so i'm going to run this code 
So now I'm gonna try to print this data and see if the code that we typed out worked. So this will be your first real line of code and I'm gonna type out print df and hit run. And okay, so now you can see we have the data in Google Colab and it's ready to be analyzed and manipulated. So now we're ready to begin analyzing the data. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a new column to where I can see my growth in each of these individual stocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out the code to do that. So I'm gonna type out DF, which remember stands for data frame, and type in growth right here. And so I'm gonna make a growth formula that is going to help us calculate what the individual stock's growth has been. So we're gonna take our current price and we want the purchase price as well pulled from the data frame. And then we wanna divide the two by the purchase price once again. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna make a new data frame and let's title this data frame, data frame one. So it's a new variable and we wanna do a group by formula and we wanna group it by the stocks. So this variable is just gonna take our first data frame and group by the stocks and we wanna do then dot mean, open parentheses. And now we wanna print df1, which is the new variable data frame that we just made. And okay, so there's an error in our code. So if we look down here at the bottom, it says invalid syntax. So let's go through our code and see where we made a mistake. And okay, so it looks like right, right here, I put in open parentheses where I shouldn't have. Let's run the code again. And okay, so the code works. So if we come over here, now we can see we have a new column titled growth where we can see the growth in each individual stock. So if you got that line of code, that's a great job. That's your first form of data analyzation. For this next line of code, I'm a dividend investor. So I wanna see how much I'm gonna make in dividends from let's say my real estate stocks. So to do that, I'm gonna make a new variable and title it DF industry. And we wanna see my income from REITs. So I'm gonna select industry from my data frames and we only wanna see our income from REITs. So I'm gonna do two equal signs and type in REIT right here. And then we're gonna make a new data, or excuse me, a new variable and title it DF REIT income. And so we're gonna select that old variable we just created called data frame industry. And we want to select our dividend income. And we want it to sum all of that so we can see the total dividend income we're gonna see from our REITs. Now we're gonna type out print. And we want to print out DF REIT income. So let's go ahead and run this code and we can see we everything's correct and we're going to make $180.35 from dividend income from my REITs. So let's say we wanna see our dividend income from our communication services industry as well. So something really cool about Python is how scalable it is. Let's just copy and paste the same code and change the industry to communication services so I'm gonna change the code right here. Let's go and change our variable names, change it from REIT income to COM income, which stands for communication services. And let's just put a different variable here. Title it DF industry two. And let's change our REIT income down here to DF communication services income and let's run this code. And okay, so there we can see our income from both our REIT income and our communication services income. So let's say I wanted to see the difference in the two. 
we can do a quick print formula and subtract our REIT income from our communication services income. And I'm gonna run this code. And you can see that the difference is about 21 or $22. So this really shows that if we're using large data sets, um, just copying and pasting code with Python scalability, we can really quickly see the data and analyze the things that we're wanting to see. So now we have code that allows us to see how much our stocks have grown. We have code to see how much our REITs are making in dividend income. We have code to see how much our communication services are making. And we can also see the difference in our REIT income and our communication services income. So I hope you're able to follow along with the code that we just wrote. This is just a beginner tutorial, but I moved fast, so I highly suggest that you rewind the video and pause it at certain points to take a better look at the code that we just wrote. Learning Python for data analytics is a really great tool for personal use, and it's currently high in demand, so this is a really great skill to practice. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to gain access to my stock portfolio tracker in Google Sheets, or my dividend portfolio tracker, or even my crypto portfolio tracker, then you can head over to my Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys.